If you're running email marketing campaigns, you probably want to know which ones drive more traffic to your website and get you more conversions. If you just put plain links in your emails, Google Analytics will not be able to track the traffic source, at least in most cases. So you might need to do some additional customization. In this video, I will explain what those customizations are and how to see the data of your email marketing in Google Analytics 4. The tracking of your email marketing campaigns starts with the links in your emails. Because usually, if your email links look like this, let me show you, where you basically just have the URL and no additional parameters, then most likely these kind of links and traffic coming from them will not be tracked by Google Analytics. Of course, many email marketing providers have some built-in tracking features that automatically add certain parameters to the links. But in that case, you should check with your email service provider, I mean, your email marketing platform, and you should double check if they add particular parameters to the URL. Those parameters are called UTM parameters. Personally, I am using ConvertKit to send email marketing campaigns, and they have some automatic feature that decorates the links with UTM parameters. But personally, I like to customize them in a way that basically I end up setting them manually in the text editor. So if your link looks like this, with UTM parameters, it would look like this. So I add question mark, then UTM underscore medium. And in this case, medium is email, because people who land on my website from this email, well, they will be coming from email. By the way, if you want to learn more in general about UTM parameters, I will post a link to another tutorial where I explain that concept first. But in a nutshell, there are several UTM parameters, such as UTM source, UTM medium, UTM campaign, UTM content, UTM term, and several others. So Google Analytics, including older version and the current version, they support these parameters and the end result of traffic coming from links that are decorated with UTM parameters will look something like this. So let me show you an example. Instead of having probably direct none, because by default, most of the email traffic will be displayed here, you will see something like email and then name of that email, which in this case is the newsletter of January 2023. So if you want to see more accurate data about traffic coming from your email marketing campaigns, you need to decorate your links with UTM parameters. If you're going my way and you decorate your links manually, you can use some additional tools that will make things a bit easier. For example, there is a campaign URL builder, which is a free tool built by Google. But also if you Google something like campaign URL builder, you will find other free and paid alternatives. So basically here you can just enter particular values and then this tool will generate a URL for you. So for example, let's say that my landing page where I want people to come from my email is this, and then I can add particular parameters. So based on this tool, campaign source, medium and name, they are required. So medium for email marketing should always be email, then source might be some more specific description of what kind of email is it? Is it a newsletter? Maybe it's some abandoned cart email, maybe it's a welcome sequence email, maybe something like that. Let's say that I'm sending a regular newsletter. So I will just enter newsletter like that. And then the campaign name. So this could be maybe the topic of your newsletter, maybe the name of the campaign, for example, you're sending series of emails about Black Friday. So in this case, your campaign name could be Black Friday, Cyber Monday, 2023 or something like that. And then when you enter at least these several required parameters, you will get a decorated link that looks like this. So now you should copy it and paste it right here and then click apply. But again, keep in mind that every email marketing platform is different. And some platforms might have additional settings when you're creating a new campaign where you can enter your UTM medium source campaign, and then all links will be decorated automatically. So you should check the documentation of the tool you're using. So let's say that now I have decorated this link right here, I have sent this email to my subscribers. And let's say that I am one of my subscribers. So I click that link. So when I land, it will look something like this, we have UTM source, UTM medium, UTM campaign, and then in Google Analytics, 
I can go to the debug view, which is available in admin, and then keep looking for the debug view right here. If you want to start seeing some data here, you need to install in your Chrome browser an extension called Google Analytics Debugger. I will post a link to it below the video. So click that link, install the extension, and then after you install it, you should click on it so that the on badge right here would be visible. So when you have enabled GA Debugger and you open the debug view, and then you browse your website coming from your email marketing campaign, so it means that the URL of the page where you're browsing it, it contains the email marketing campaign's UTM parameters, then you should click on the most recent page view event that you get. You can click it, and then it will expand additional parameters that Google Analytics tracked together with your page view. And here you will see campaign, medium, and source. These are coming from UTM parameters that are available right here in the URL. So if I click campaign, I will see Black Friday, Cyber Monday, then medium is email, and then source is newsletter. So if you see this, it means that this is working fine. Then after 24 hours, sometimes maybe even more, you can go to your reports in Google Analytics 4, then acquisition. And here you should switch to, for example, session, source, and medium. This will display source and medium that is available right here, source and medium. If you want, you can also include an additional dimension that will tell you what kind of campaign was it. So you can click plus here and then enter session campaign. Obviously right now, this is my demo property. So I don't have data about email marketing campaign, but if I go to another demo property, I'm here also in reports, acquisition, traffic acquisition, and I have session source medium as my primary dimension. So now if I click plus and add session campaign, then I will see some additional campaigns, but I want to narrow down only to email. So I can write like that in the search field here and click enter. And now I have my newsletters, the names of the campaigns, and then how many users did I get from each campaign, how many sessions, and also on the right side, I can also see how much revenue did I get from each campaign. So now your main goal, if you haven't done that yet, is to update all your links in emails to include at least session source, medium, and campaign. And once you do that and your audience clicks those links, then you will start seeing data in your GA4 reports. However, again, don't forget, data takes time in GA4 to be processed, so you will need to wait for at least 24 hours, sometimes even more. In this kind of report, you will see not only your top sources, mediums, uh, campaigns, but you will also see how many users did you get, how many sessions, and on the right side, you will see how much revenue did you get, if of course you're tracking purchases with Google Analytics 4, because that is not done automatically, you need to do some additional configuration. You can also see how many conversions did you get from each traffic source. So you could click here and then select a particular event, you can also add a conversion rate metric to this report, but I won't be explaining that in this video. However, I will post a link to another tutorial that explains how can you add conversion rates to traffic acquisition reports. Speaking of managing your UTM parameters, I showed you how to generate links, but to keep track of your naming convention, how you do name parameters in different emails, you could simply build some Google Sheet or some other file where you store different combinations. For example, here I have newsletter, I have automated email, and then I have several examples. So if multiple people work with your email marketing campaigns, they will know what naming convention should they follow in order to have cleaner data in your reports. Because keep in mind, these parameters are case sensitive because Google Analytics 4 and Google Analytics older versions, they are case sensitive. So if you have some email that says cart recovery, but the other one says cart recovery with the uppercase C, Google Analytics will treat that as two different values. So make sure that everyone on your team strictly follows your internal naming convention. If you want, you can also do some additional research because there are some other tools that help you manage UTM parameters 
Some of them are free, some of them are paid, but personally, I am kind of the old school here. So I like to work just with sheets where I prepare a Google sheet and I list all the possible UTM mediums, sources, campaigns, and so on there. And I keep track of my naming convention. Also, if you want to learn what are all the UTM parameters that GA4 recognizes, I will post a link below the video where you can learn more in this documentation. And you will find things like UTM content, UTM source platform, UTM marketing tactic. The only one that I notice is missing is UTM underscore ID but maybe in the future they will update that. However, you don't have to use all of them. I recommend using at least UTM source, UTM medium, and UTM campaign. And that is how you can track email marketing campaigns with Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.